baked toast. And by the way, this is my first video ever. So you have, so you're supposed to have bread to make toast, and some cinnamon, and some butter. So technically, you don't have to have cinnamon and sugar, but you can just have it plain with butter on it. And yeah. Um. So like here, you need a toaster too. So. This out of here. Okay. And you do not have to use these. If your child don't like these, then or if you don't like it. Then. like a couple minutes or something. It's great for going with like eggs or hash browns in it, so. Um, you can, um, sometimes you can get toaster and you can have um, the toast, bagel, sometimes you can do it with a um, bagel. And so if you don't have bread and if you don't have bagels, then just use bagels as it goes. Make sure if you have a child or like a little sister, don't let them get close to it and put their hand. Because it will burn them. Really not. Trust me, I've done it. you you um put the bread away once you've gotten it out because if you leave it out you will it will get all moldy and you don't want that to happen i can't bunch of cinnamon and sugar because that will make it just it will be like without any bread without any butter it'll be like you can't even taste the anything except the bread it'll be like there's no butter so All you have to do is lift that up and out. <laughs> now we have our toast. Next, you have to get a fork, a uh, knife, and get a little bit of butter. Just like scrape that on there really nicely and. hamburgers. This bread is good for um, making grilled cheese sandwiches. So you could toast it and make a grilled cheese. Then mine is kind of looking weird because it has two lid lids. It has one that's like that and it has one that has nothing. I usually use this because I don't want too much because that I mean, way too much. <sighs> and so here's our toast. Nice and yummy. 